Have you ever wondered how to create the YouTube logo and integrate it into your own designs? Well, in this tutorial by Omnitouch, we're going to be teaching you how to create the following YouTube logo. As you can see, it has the same grainy noise in the background, and it has the same sort of feel to it. Of course, it's not the exact duplicate, but it's, it's a pretty good shot at it. So without further ado, let's just get started on building this thing. To do this, go to File, New. Create a new document with a width of 1920 pixels, a height of 1080 pixels, and a resolution of 72. Make sure that the background contents are set to white, and click OK. Now the first thing we want to do is create the background. Select your fill tool, and Make your foreground color the color EF, EF, EF. Click OK and click on your background. You'll see it doesn't have that same sort of noise. To do this, go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Make the amount 6, the distribution uniform, and uncheck monochromatic. Once you're happy with these settings, click OK. Now we have our background done. Let's get started on creating the red shape. To do this, we're going to be using a custom shape. It's located under the All section in the Shapes, and it's in the row of the hearts, and it's above the squiggly the star thing, and it's underneath the diamond. Once you found it, click on it, and you don't really need to worry about the color yet. But just for now, I'm just going to set it to a red. This isn't the final color though, so just make a rectangle and just move it to where you want. Double click on it and click on gradient overlay. Now under the gradient we're going to set the first color, we're going to set the first color to a color called CC33333. And we're going to set the last color to 922420. And we'll check that. And th these are actually the official colors for the red thing on the YouTube. Uh, but it doesn't look quite right yet, so we're gonna click reverse. And now it looks much better. Now you can move it wherever you want. And now we're gonna give it the roundness. So, click Command T on Mac and control T on Windows to enter transform mode. Now right click and click on warp. Notice that this is only available in Photoshop and other images such as Pixelmator do not support this feature. Now going to view, show, grid. This is going to help us um, make our warp. And just, and uh, just move it so that it has lined up with the grid at the bottom and at the top. And then move these two black pointers at the top to the uh, axis just above. Click on them, hold shift, and then move them upwards so they rest on it. Like so. And this looks pretty good. Do the same at the bottom. Same at the bottom. Same on the other side. And just click the check mark. And you can remove the grid for now. We've you can see we've got the curve at the top. But we also need the curve on the sides. So 
show your grid again. And you're just gonna have to make some adjustments if your grid doesn't if your shape doesn't line up. Because for this part it really needs to line up with the axis on the right and on the left. You can you can transform it to make it fit, but after we've done this you can make it whatever size you want because the shape will be set. So again, transform and warp. And this time we're gonna move these pointers to two axes to and so click hold shift and move it two axes to the right. Same on the other side. Now click and do the same on the left. And click the check mark. And now we can get rid of the grid for good. And now you can see we've got the YouTube shape done. You can now edit it to make it more square like or whatever works for you. Now we want to insert our text. So click on T, select the horizontal type tool. And um, we're gonna select the color of um, EF, 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 the same as the background. And we're gonna be using a font, League Gothic. This can be downloaded from many online sites, but that is none of my concern. We're going to set the size to 523.45 and that's a bit too technical but it's just what works for me for this document size actually and then just move to the center to position it exactly in the center um, select your text layer then hold command on Mac and control on Windows and click on the vector mask thumbnail and then just use these buttons to align it. Um, now we want to add some effects to it. want to change the blending options. So click on Bevelin Emboss. And over here we're going to set this to 94 and 21. Next, click on Inner Glow. Set the blend mode to normal and set this color to black and set the size to 8 and click OK now the tube is done let's write the U for this we're going to select a color of 222222 which is a very dark gray and we're just going to type in U and now I have um, smart guides enabled and they really help in positioning objects so you can then just position um, everything the way you want and you can actually use this um, to position it exactly in line with the text you don't need to position it in the middle but it positions it in the correct position from the top and the bottom and then from there on you can just Move your arrow keys to um, line it up. And let's just move this a bit to here. And now we're pretty much done with the logo part. Um, you can move all of this to a folder. And we're just going to name this folder logo. And now we're going to select our text tool again. And we're, I'm going to use a font called code bold and I'm going to use a font size of 75 and I'm going to click here and type broadcast yourself which is the slogan for YouTube 
and to position it in the center of the composition. Um, select your text layer, actually, unlock your background layer, select the text layer, and command on Mac to control on Windows and click on the mask thumbnail for the layer. And then you can center it. The same can be done for the logo and uh, you can position it any way you want you can increase the width to your liking and basically just play around with it until it's exactly how you like it um, if you are doing it for a company you could maybe have your slogan here. For example, for Omnitests, we would have HD tutorials on everything, and we would have maybe Omnibids or something like that. So I hope you've liked this video. Remember to, remember to visit our website, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe on YouTube. This has been the Omni CEO, and I hope to see you guys watch another one of our tutorials. Bye.